If you're into building with bamboo, you've probably wondered about how to make good foundations for bamboo because I know that's something I've thought about in the past. And while I'm no expert on bamboo building and bamboo foundations, I have been trying to learn a lot about them in the past few years. Now, the foundations that I've constructed in the past have been pretty rudimentary, but I'll show you some of those just so you can get an idea of what a simple foundation system can look like. But we're also going to get into more highly engineered foundations, like the ones the builders use for the bamboo buildings at Bamboo U, which is like a bamboo educational facility out in Indonesia. So are you ready to learn more about bamboo foundations? Then let's get into it. Bamboo can be used to build amazing structures that can last just as long as conventional wood structures. But in order for bamboo to last that long, it needs to not only be treated, but it needs a good roof and a good foundation, or a good hat and good boots, as they say in the builder world. But this is nothing new. You have to do the same thing when you build out of wood, otherwise it won't last long either. Now foundations are the most important part of any structure. It must be strong enough to withstand storms, earthquakes, and other environmental forces. And it must keep bamboo dry so it doesn't rot or attract pests. For the bamboo structures that I build out of my place, I mostly have them sitting on wooden platforms or decks, which kind of takes care of a lot of the foundation problems right there. When I'm building with bamboo, they're already sitting off of the ground. But to secure them into place, I screwed these ones to brackets here inside this bamboo bungalow. And up in the treehouse, I poked an eye hook through the foundation and tied the bamboo posts to them. Neither of these are great ways to create a foundation, but they've worked for the past five years, so I thought I'd pass them along. But to get into what it takes to construct a real foundation for bamboo, I'm going to borrow a bit from what I learned from taking a few courses at Bamboo U. Now, if you haven't heard of Bamboo U already, they're a bamboo education company based out of Bali, Indonesia. They have online courses and in-person courses that teach you all about bamboo design and hands-on building. So if you're interested in bamboo like me, that might be something worth checking out. I'll leave a link for them down in the description below. And I'm also going to leave for you down in the description below a link for a free ebook that I put together about bamboo foundations. Now, it's nothing fancy. It's just a bunch of pictures showcasing different styles of foundations that you can do when building with bamboo. But it goes in a little bit deeper than what I cover in this video. So if you want to learn more, go ahead and check that out. So how they do it at Bamboo U is a much better method than those methods I already showed you. It starts by marking out where your footings will go on your building site. Then you cast your concrete foundations, forming them up with wood, round tubes, or even PVC pipes. The concrete footing should be a little bit bigger than the diameter of your bamboo poles that will be resting on it. Next, you stick a few pieces of rebar about three feet tall out the center of it all, and then fill it with concrete. Let it cure for about two to four weeks, watering it down every day. Concrete wicks moisture, so you need some sort of moisture barrier between the concrete and the bamboo or mold will form. And at Bamboo U, they use natural stones, which act as a natural moisture barrier between the bamboo and concrete, and they look beautiful at the same time. To do that, you mark the rebar locations on a piece of paper or plywood and transfer those marks onto a stone of your choice. And to drill the stone, you use a rotary drill with a masonry bit. Stones could have a tendency to crack, so have a few extra around, just in case. Next thing you have to do is shape the bottom of the bamboo. This can be difficult. It's best to try and scribe the contours of the rock onto the bamboo, and then grind it down with a grinder or a Dremel tool of some sort, constantly checking it to see how it's going. It's important to get this right, otherwise the bamboo will have a tendency to give way and crack. Now once you have all that done, make a small hole, in the bottom node of the bamboo so that you can slip some concrete through. Place your bamboo pole over the rebar and onto the stone foundation. You may need a few friends here. And then go ahead and fill it with concrete using a funnel and a little bit of a wetter concrete mix to get inside of the bamboo cavity. Give it a knock every now and then and make sure it settles and voila! You have a solid foundation for a bamboo building. Now that's a pretty cool way to create a foundation for bamboo now, isn't it? 
If you thought so, why don't you go ahead and plant your finger down on the like button. You know, every little like helps this channel grow. Now, I've never really actually made a foundation like this before, but I'm really excited to try them. This process was actually borrowed from the folks over at Bamboo U. They've made hundreds of foundations like these, and they have lasted them for decades. If you want to learn more about creating foundations like these and building out of bamboo in general, I really encourage you to check out one of their courses. And while I've never really built one of these cool concrete foundations for bamboo, I have built other things. Built a tree house and a bamboo bungalow. And um, I've also learned a lot about treating bamboo. And I encourage you to check out this playlist right here. If you're into building with bamboo, I assure you you're going to find some valuable nuggets right here in this playlist. All right, everybody. Until next time, we hold.